So today is the last day of school for me this year as a teacher, and I thought I'd make a video because this last day of school for the school year is a little bit different than most school years I've had in the past because come next fall, I'm not going to be returning to my career in teaching, um, which is a little bit bittersweet, and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the reasons why in this video. I've been teaching for 11 years, and I come from a family of educators. My dad was an elementary school principal and my mom was a kindergarten teacher. So naturally, my career path out of college was becoming a teacher myself. Um, I started off teaching in elementary school just like my parents did. Um, I taught first grade right out of college. My first year teaching was a great year. You know, I taught first grade and actually did so well that my principal nominated me as a representative for our school um, as the first year teacher of the year for our district. So it was a huge honor and, and kind of the icing on the cake for my first year teaching. And um, after that, after my first year, I actually took a position um, at my school teaching second grade um, because I wanted to have more experience with different kids of different age levels. So my third year, um, I actually had a very unique opportunity kind of fall in my lap um, where my principal approached me and asked if I would pilot a program that our district was getting ready to start where I would be a co-teacher teaching with another teacher um, a first and second grade class. So it was two grade levels in one classroom. And on top of that, it was also going to be a general education and ESE blended class. So we were going to have students from kind of all different areas of primary education all in one place, which sounded like a great idea on paper, but it was actually very, very challenging. Um, that year was very tough because I had a lot of expectations and a lot of demands, and it was honestly very hard to keep up with everything. And that year also tested me in many other ways outside of teaching. Um, not only was teaching challenging that year, but also I lost my dad to terminal cancer um, that year. So it was really, really tough on top of that. Um, to add even more to the plate, um, that year I also got married and um, later in the year, nine months later, um, we welcomed our first child. So that year I had a lot going on um, and it was really, really ch tough and really challenging. Not only did I have a lot of emotions outside of school, but I had everything going on in school and uh, it was really tough. Um, I honestly questioned if I wanted to walk away from teaching at that point. I kind of got pretty low and kind of down on myself as a teacher and really question if, if teaching was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. But that year ended and um, I kind of reevaluated where I was going with my career and my profession and um, actually decided that I wanted to give coaching elementary physical education a shot. So I went and got certified in elementary PE and from that point on to where I am now, I taught elementary school physical education for seven more years. So that leads me to where I'm at today. You might be thinking, after that, why, why are you quitting now? Do you love coaching PE? And the answer is, yes, I do. I love coaching PE, I love being around kids, and, and honestly, coaching elementary school PE is basically fun and games all day. Um, so if I have that opportunity, you know, why would I wanna throw it away? If your job is literally fun and games all day, why would you wanna leave that, right? Well, let me jump back for a moment, um, back to that third year of teaching. When things were really rough for me that year, um, you know, I, I honestly was looking for other areas of employment. And I started doing things outside of school to try to bring income and revenue in for my family. I did a lot of um, searching on the internet and kind of stumbled upon the world of e-commerce. And I began selling things online, um, specifically selling things on eBay. What started off kind of as a hobby, making a little extra income, kind of like a garage sale out of my house on eBay, um, grew over those next seven years as I continued to coach PE. Before I knew it, I, I had a business on my hands. As my eBay business grew um, a couple of years ago and enabled my wife to quit her job, um, and she was actually able to stay home and continue to be a stay-at-home mom for my younger boys. I have three young boys. And it's really been a, an awesome source of extra income for my family. But of course, as you know, it grew and, and I put more time and more energy on weekends, on nights and, and evenings, and uh, over summer break, um, I kind of got to the point where my business, I, it got to be kind of taxing. Uh, you know, I didn't know if I was coming or going and, and, and I was trying to kind of juggle what was going on at work and, and what was going on at home. And uh, I kind of kept it on the down low at, at my school. Nobody at school really knew what I did. I and mean, it wasn't because I was ashamed of what I did or I wanted to keep it a secret, but I never really wanted anybody at work thinking that I wasn't committed to my job here at, at school. Um, so this year I really had to do some soul searching. I, I'm kind of getting to a fork in the road now where I have to choose um, one love over another. 
you know, I love teaching, I love coaching and, and, and being with kids all day, and, and I really have a passion for that. Um, but I also here on the other side have this wonderful opportunity that I feel like not many other people have with buying and, and, and selling things on online. So I had to kind of choose one. And, and the choice that I'm choosing right now is to pursue being a full-time eBay seller. So come next fall, I'm not going to be returning here to my school um, and, and I'm going to give this e-commerce eBay selling a full-time shot. So I'm excited to see what the future holds. Um, I, I know I'm going to miss teaching. Um, I made a lot of really close friends um, teaching here over the years and, and to be honest, teaching is, is still holds a very special place in my heart. Um, if you clicked on this video, you know, expecting to see a disgruntled teacher um, that was fed up with the system, fed up with you know, the politics and, and everything that you typically hear bad about teaching, um, you're not going to find it in this video. Um, teachers in my heart and in my opinion are some of the hardest working most loving and most caring people on the face of this planet and that's been my experience as a teacher and um, I, I have nothing bad to say about the career of, of teaching the career of education um, I love it and, and who knows maybe someday I'll become a teacher again maybe I'll step back into the classroom further on down the road but for the time being um, I'm gonna give selling stuff online a shot so here in the future um, I'm going to continue to vlog about my life as an eBay seller um, if you clicked on this video you probably were wondering you know what's this guy doing in front of the camera and, and my goal to film myself and, and have this YouTube channel moving forward is um, I, I hope to continue to be able to teach you know maybe I'm not teaching little kids anymore but maybe I can reach out to somebody that I don't know across the internet and, and teach them what I've learned to do um, to basically create my own income stream and, and my own job and I would love nothing more to, than to be able to teach other people about what I do and to see other people um, have the same opportunities that I've been very blessed with. Um, if you're interested in learning about what I do, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be vlogging all of the time about what I know and, and what I've learned about my journeys as an e-commerce seller along the way. If you like this video, um, please help this video out by clicking the thumbs up button down below. Um, by hitting that like button, you're helping this video out and hopefully I can reach more people and teach them about what I do. Um, because like I said, teaching still holds a place in my heart and I want to continue teaching people even if it's not face to face in person. Um, if you have any questions about what I'm doing as an eBay reseller, um, feel free to drop them down in the comment section down below and I promise I'll get back to anybody that leaves a question or a comment. Um, until next time, I hope I see you guys again soon um, and have a great day. Bye everyone.